Hey guys, how you doing? Big John with J Custom Builds. So today it's a uh, Sunday, the uh, second, and I'm going to be filling all the fluids up in my uh, brother-in-law's uh, 2013 soft tail. So I recently changed the clutch cable, and of course I drained the transmission pan, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill that up. Now it takes, so on the six speed 2007 and up soft tails and the uh, touring bikes, it takes one full quart of transmission fluid which is what I'm gonna put in that. And then the oil tank, which I changed the line on earlier, takes four full quarts. And so I got all the oil tank lines and everything reconnected again with all the new uh, couplers. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill up all the fluids now. And then I'm going to change the, uh, the primary gasket oil as well today. Plus I'm gonna put in the spark plugs and I'm gonna put the new wires in so that I could start this girl up. So let's get going. So I already took this off and you want to go ahead and change this uh, ring right here if it's bad. You know what? This is actually dirty and it's bad. So I'm going to go ahead and replace it um, and just clean up all around it really quick. You want to make sure that everything's clean. I went through everything. You want to make sure everything is super clean before you put it all back together. So grab the new one, same color. Yeah, okay. And let's get this. So I'm using actually the V-Twin transmission, which is the Maxima. I actually ordered this uh, online. It came with the entire kit, the six quarts and the oil filter and the, uh, the three uh, O-rings that you need for all three. So good if you have a small funnel like this too so that you can actually get in because it's actually underneath the tank and it's kind of hard to get to so i just get that in there and start pouring little by little so this takes a full quart 32 ounces and then the uh the oil tank takes four full quarts and the primary takes one that's good i like to put a little bit of oil on the o-ring so you know it'll it'll seat in there really good actually stick that in there like that because that's where we're going to go next and then i'm going to go ahead and put this back on So this is actually a 3 8 so I'm not sure what size that is on, uh, on uh, the T. Might be a T40. All right, that's good. Okay, guys, so I'm uh, going to change the filter really quick. And uh, then after I change the filter, I got this little tool here from uh, Harley. What I like to do is like to poke some holes in this first i don't know what i did with my uh then i like to poke a hole on the top and that just helps it drain faster this actually works better you want to get a nice hole in there yeah it'll come out faster and you want to try to make the hole bigger on the bottom first because when you make the hole on the top, you're not going to get spurts coming out of it, you know. But if you end up having to go back down to the bottom, then you're going to get showered by the one on the top. I like this little guy here. And once it stops, you know, you're going to get oil on the bottom no matter what you do. Then in the meantime, I'll go ahead and start taking out the plugs and the wires and changing the plugs and wires while that's actually draining. I got them some good plugs. I got them some auto lights. These are actually pretty good. They come pre-gapped to 40. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one out. It wasn't even in there tight. Push that down so that can continue to drain. 
And then I wanted to see how bad these were because like I said, the bike had been sitting for a while. Yeah, they're pretty bad. The bike was running kind of rich. See how it's all black around there? The bike was definitely running rich. I want to make sure the gap right because the gap on here is, oh, you know why? Because the tips wore out. That's why. The gap's much bigger on that one than it is on that one. And the reason why is because the uh, the tip on this just wore off. So let's see how bad the other one is. Yeah, the cap's not leaking too much. This one is not as bad as the other one, but it is, it is bad. And he had Harley Davidson on these. These are the 6R12s. These are just standard. Okay, guys, well, I'm actually waiting for the, uh, I haven't used, I haven't used my, uh, let me stick this rag down in there because once I pull this out, it's going to leak. And we got to watch the bottom one too because the bottom one's going to want to leak too. We'll just lay that like so. And then you want to get, you want to try to get this tucked in down there, but it really doesn't matter. I'll just dry it off when I'm done. So if you don't own one of these, I recommend that you get one. For whatever reason, there it is. Thank goodness it's not on there real tight. All right, so I got this plastic bag right here and I'm gonna go ahead and stick this oil filter in this bag. So if it leaks, it'll leak in the bag and look, nothing. I'll clean all up in here. And we'll grab this beautiful guy here. And I always like to get the ones with the 15 millimeter on the top. I don't know why it's a 15 millimeter, but I always like getting these brand because it just makes it so much easier. So what you wanna do is, it, I could get a little bit of primary, it doesn't really matter. All I'm gonna do is try to put, you know what? I got oil over there, let me. So I got a little container over there full of oil. And so what I did is you can see that I put a little bit of oil on that. And now I'm just gonna start spinning this guy on there. I don't know why they put 15 millimeter stuff on those guys. But this is the, uh, this is the drain that I love because it sits perfectly down in there and this hose sits in the, in the pan down there, the drain pan, and it just drains perfectly. 17 millimeter goes perfectly over this. And you don't want to, you don't want to have to put it real tight, but you don't want to, you don't want to leave it loose either. All right, so now that that's done, Let's finish the uh, spark plugs. So, I'll be ready in a half hour. All right, could A text us? Can you see what she texted? Okay. I'll let you know. Thank you. All right, guys, that's why it's always good to get a gapper, right? This one right here goes all the way up to 100. I don't know anything that's gapped that much in automotive. I've, always, I've done up to 60 for automotive and 45, but I've never done anything above 60 or anything actually below 38 or 35. Our apologies used to be like 35, I believe. Something like that, 32 to 35. It's been like 20 years for me on Impalas. But anyway, so I'm glad I checked these because these were actually at 30 and I regapped them to 40. And I checked the old ones and they were like at 45 because they had worn off the uh, tip there. So I'm gonna start these off by hand. I'm gonna clean around that really quick, make sure you don't ever wanna drop anything in there. So I'm gonna start these off by hand and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tighten them with the socket. 
and then I'm going to change these wires out too. This guy right here does not want to go on. What is going on with you? Oh, there it is. It's getting really tight. I don't like that. You might want to check the threads on here and make sure they're okay. So it starts going good and then it just stops. Let me try this one over here. Yeah, that one's actually turning good. It might just be this one. Let me see if it's okay over here. Wow, that's weird. Didn't want to work, so sometimes I just swap them, and they work. So having one of these little guys is great. You can get them for a few bucks at the store. I remember when I used to pay like 99 cents for them at the store. I don't know what, they're worth, what they cost now. I'm going out to dinner it's Sunday evening. I'm going out to dinner at my... Oh, you know what you want to do too? These little guys right here, sometimes they're loose. So what you want to do is grab them with pliers and you don't have to tighten them up really tight, but I don't have any pliers. These are kind of what I use. So what you want to do is just grab them. See how these are kind of measured you just want to grab them and squeeze them and give a good tightening on it because you do not want the head to come loose and they will come loose because they're just uh they're not usually tight so i always try to put them on as much as i can by hand before i start tightening them and the reason why so now let's get the oil in for the engine and again i like the maxima because it it'll tell you v twin engine oil 2050 which is exactly what this bike takes you know what i'm going to take that funnel out because i don't i don't like that funnel that funnel's good for transmissions but when i do the engines i like using a, a bigger like that Let's fill this girl up real quick with four quarts. I don't feel any leaks at all under there. No leaks down below. We're looking good, guys. We're looking real good. So that's one quart down, and then we have three to go. Feels great, guys. Almost done with this girl. Almost done. I'm getting excited so here's number two and again i don't see any leaks down there so we're looking actually really good and always double check the labels on here too when you buy a kit like this because i've seen people say oh man i put the primary fluid in the in the uh in the engine oil i put the primary in the transmission the transmission in the or vice versa or they mix it up so just always be aware of that always look at it i've done it i'm guilty i've done it too you got a groove going and you're sitting there you know trying to hurry up and get stuff done and all of a sudden you're like shit man i poured the wrong oil in the engine or i poured the wrong oil in the tranny you know, and I mean, it's as simple as, is taking the, the drain plug off, draining it out, putting it in, but it's just the point, you know, a lot of people, that's why a lot of people use the same oil in everything, in all three holes. They use the same oil. They use 2050 in the primary, 2050 in the tranny, I mean, 2050 in the engine, you know, a lot of people do that, but I like, I like buying my oil separate. You know, I usually go with, uh, oh man, I can't think of it right now. What is it? It's pink. For the transmission fluid and the uh i don't know if the primary is the same color no the primary color the primary oil is clear and the looks like kind of like a it's like a pink milkshake I'm trying to remember the brand i can't think it was real popular at harley hey i might have some in here hold on a second red line red line 
That's what it is. I love using red line in, in my bikes, but you know, I just wanted to put what he had in here. I mean, he would have said anything if I'd have done the red line. It's just the red, these kits you could buy as a whole red line. You have to buy everything separate. And it's usually, it's usually more expensive, you know. I didn't cut any corners on this bike. You know, I, I um, wanted to get everything top quality, you know, all Harley parts. Everything Harley went back on this bike. I got everything from Oakland, from the dealer. And that's all I used was just dealer parts. I did not use any outside parts. The only other thing that I did was the rims were custom made in Southern California and the tires are, uh, the Shinko. I like Shinko. I like the way they feel. They're soft. I like the way they ride. A lot of people say that you don't get as many miles as you would on a Dunlop or a Metzler. You know, those are Dunlop and Messlers are the best tires, you know, I'm not going to lie, but like for my bike, I couldn't get the white walls. Not that I couldn't, the Continentals, uh, they didn't have the matching pair when I put the, cause I had, uh, put 18s on the, on my 07, I put 18s in the front, 18 in the front, 18 in the rear, and they didn't have a matching tire anywhere. So I just said, screw it. I just went with the uh, Shinkos, you know, Jim, my old boss told me they were okay. They just supposedly don't last as long as the Metzler or the uh, Dunlop. But uh, Metzler and the Dunlops are the most popular tires for motorcycles. And, you know, if I was just putting regular black walls on my 18s, then I would have just went with whatever, you know, they had. But... You know, I ended up going, it's my first set of, uh, or actually my second set of uh, Shinkos. And, you know, it's actually a good tire. It's actually a really good tire. You know, they're, they're, they're really grippy and they're just a good tire. They're just a good all around tire. So I like them and uh, I'm sure my brother's going to like them too. So yeah, man, so far so good. Everything's good. No leaks anywhere everything's pretty good so i think we're good to go man i just want to make sure when i fire this girl up that i don't have any leaks or anything so the fire up's going to happen tomorrow i'm supposed to be uh riding out to go visit my buddy who lives in uh near yosemite and uh we we haven't uh, hung out together in a long time you know we usually try to get together a few times a year but we haven't gotten we haven't had an opportunity to get together for a while so i'm gonna ride out there tomorrow it's like a two and a half i'm gonna meet him actually in sonora we're gonna meet in sonora i'm gonna be exhausted by the time i get there Sonora's like 130 miles or 35 miles and then he lives the opposite direction he lives actually in groveland which is way up in the mountains, way higher than all those cities or little towns. So this bike here takes four full quarts and it looks like it's going down slower and slower and slower because it's getting pretty full. So I think I'm gonna stop right there. Okay, coming. Yeah, I gotta get in the shower. We're supposed to be at my sister's for dinner here real soon. Is it full? Oh yeah, this. Oh, you know why it's full? It's full because of the. Once you start it, it's gonna go down into the uh, into the oil filter. So that's why. Usually I put, you know, like three quarts in it, three and a half quarts, and then I start it. I'm gonna put this guy back in there, and I like to usually lube this guy up right here because you want it just to be able to pop on like that. And so let me grab a rag. Little bush. My babies, my little babies are in here with me. They love hanging out with Papa, and Papa loves hanging out with them. So that's why it's full. And so we're going to just leave that like that. And then we're just going to make sure we're going to come out tomorrow morning, make sure there's no leaks. And, uh, go from there so you guys see the batteries in batteries fully charged and so we're actually uh we're actually ready to go i'm ready to start this girl so i will get with you guys 
back with you guys on uh, Thursday afternoon. I'll be gone for three days. Hey guys, I also wanted to mention my, I've still got my giveaway going on with the 2010 Street Glide and the 2009 Ultra Classic. If you guys know anybody that, that's interested in winning a beautiful bike, all you gotta do is head over to my website, jcustombuilds.com. Buy yourself a hat, buy yourself t-shirts. So there's men's, women's. Purchase any item. The details are all on the website. You can learn more about it. And we are now supporting Tunnels to Towers for every item sold. We're sending $15 to Tunnels to Towers. And if you like these videos and any of my others, I invite you to please hit the subscribe button and hit that bell icon. That way you're notified anytime I drop a new video. My plan is to get this giveaway going, get both of these bikes given away. So if you know anybody that's interested in winning a Harley, please share this video with anybody you know. And if you're interested in supporting our troops and our disabled veterans, you can buy a hat or a t-shirt and $15 of that money is going to go to Tunnels to Towers to support them. And if you're interested in learning any more about my my giveaway or tunnels to towers you can head over to my website and learn more about it there other than that you guys have yourself a great weekend always remember to ride safe take care of everything you do and god bless